because you, you know it's a very tight final race but he is through Jakob Kreschke he's through as the third fastest yeah which means David Lorenz still waits patiently yeah. to see what could happen and I tell you what if you've got to rely on Giovanni De Janeiro making a mistake then it's going to be a long wait for you because he doesn't make a lot of mistakes no he is he has some years now when he's have so good level yeah showing the world that he's one of the best for sure he's like he's like an Italian Ferrari yeah uh, Frederick just skating across the top of the water here he just moves so smoothly a little bit down on his time at the moment but you know that he can pick that up later on yeah he has a review also on gate trees so we'll see what if that comes into play but yeah he is fast so far Giovanni Di Gennaro, he finished oh nice uh, he finished first last week in uh, Augsburg. He was pretty stoked about that. Yeah. So he brings winning form to Prague. Said he quite likes Prague. He told me he doesn't like Augsburg, but he says <laughs> that he won. And then he won. So I do not trust anything this man tells me. <laughs> no, but he, he, he has the skills to win any course and now he's one second up on this uh, down on the split yep, so yep and you watch this watch this move here from Giovanni De Janeiro yeah look at that the top guys they really yeah. and they own it don't they? yeah they own that move and he is going to go through as well there is yeah. finals action he has a sneaky look at the time yeah very good and he's pretty happy there the big Italian Ferrari he can just put himself in the garage now for half an hour give himself an oil and lube change <laughs> and get himself out there for a final. 